it was assembled by uh, Chris Stamey in a, a sort of, I think it's a room above a, a Chinese restaurant. And um, I don't know, they were, I, I put some voices onto it. And it's just a sort of collection of things. It seems to sound all right, but I can't remember where it actually came from. I think it was a menu and um, it was adapted. Recording on site with Chris Damey was really fun. Um, you know, I listened to the songs on the way down to North Carolina and um, just worked out some harmonies and some things and, and didn't really know what to expect. And um, we had a really good time once we got in there kind of experimenting with, with uh, different violin sounds and, and different harmonies and being silly with some of it, which was great. You know, at first I was like, well, this is going to be weird. I don't know what to make of it, but it actually and I was nervous about it. I don't get nervous about playing my own shows or anything like that, but I was actually nervous that like, well, I'm going to get up there and make, a, make an ass out of myself. But actually... Well, when they asked me to be part of the, the Niccolo they call it rock, sing along for yep rock. I was, you know, I was pretty touched. You know, it's a it's a distinguished and uh, legendary group of performers to be associated with. Chris Stamey gave me some headphones, and uh, and I had spent about, I know I had two or three takes. Um, he seemed to know what worked and what didn't, and he was very happy to just edit everything. When I recorded in a hotel room yes. in Norway. Yeah on my iPhone yes. in real time with Chris Damey and I would just sing along with the track while I was listening to it into my iPhone and send it to him and then he would email me back comments like mm, that one didn't really have enough energy can you give me something kind of body rate and then I would do it again and um, it, was, it was pretty funny Hey XM, come on take a chance Pitchfork says he loved but the kids can't dance